Hello, welcome to the 14th annual LD Micro main event. I'm here with Kristen Helsel from Ideanomics. Kristen, can you tell us a little bit more about the company? Oh, I'd love to. So Ideanomics is a company in the commercial fleet electrification space. We're doing really exciting things uh, in charging infrastructure, in the components that make electric vehicles work, and of course, most importantly, creating uh, a whole market for fleet electric vehicles, which you know is the new big thing. I mean, uh, in order for the world to you know have the climate change we want, and, and in order to change the world, we can't just electrify passenger cars. We've got to electrify buses and trucks and delivery vehicles. We have to electrify garbage trucks and street sweepers and terminal tractors, and we're doing all of that. Wow. So you just launched a, a new megawatt charging uh, infrastructure, correct? Yeah. And so do you see electric vehicles, trucks especially, becoming you know the standard as time goes on? Oh, I think so. Uh, what we did is one of our uh, operating companies, Wave, has a wireless uh, charging system. Wow. So. Uh, it charges if, if we're here in L.A. today at the LD Micro Conference. So if you go north of us in the Antelope Valley, right. we have, I don't know, 40 to 60 buses wow. serving the entire municipality that are charging on the wave system. And so every time somebody gets on or off the bus, the bus gets a little charge no inductively. Way. And nobody has to plug anything in. Nobody has to do anything else. And uh, so we're doing that there and we're sweeping that across the country. And that's just one of the businesses that uh, Ideanomics is growing and uh, you know operating and that's working synergistically to make this transition happen. And the one megawatt that you were talking about, we're really excited about because that's sort of gonna enable the big class eight trucks. So the big trucks you see hauling freight back and forth across the country, they need a lot of charging quickly. So that means that you can charge one of those trucks in the time it would take for them to put gas in. So wow. that will be a game changer. Uh, yeah, I think so. And so obviously a lot of the infrastructure is still reliant on fossil fuels to create the electricity. So what's kind of the goal to steer away from, from that model? That is a really good point. People want green electricity. And the way that we do that is a couple of things. One is the integration of renewables. So we need solar, we need wind, you know, we need for when a warehouse decides to switch to electric vehicles, they want to cover their roof with solar so that we can take that power down, store it in a battery and then make that available to the vehicles because then they would be completely, you know, not relying on fossil fuels and that would be the game changer we need. Absolutely. Yeah. And obviously a big thing in the in the EV space is the uh, ability to store uh, battery energy in those batteries. Um, what what are, what is the idea short term, long term as far as uh, creating better power storage? So what we are looking at is, uh, you know, we have Wave, which I talked about. We have, you know, hypercharging, big one megawatt hypercharging that we're going to launch in 2022 mm -hmm. under a brand named Pia. We have uh, a components company called US Hybrid that's making all of the components to make this happen. And then we have a number of vehicle brands. Uh, we have Via, which is a mid-mile, last-mile delivery system. We have uh, Tree Electric and Energica, which are two wheelers, one scooters. Uh, the other is uh, motorcycles, uh, and we have Medici and specialty vehicles. So all of those together, uh, in order to make this transition, it's not going to be possible to just say, well, I want this vehicle. I want this new delivery van. You're going to have to put in the infrastructure. You're going to have to put in the batteries. It, you might need a uh, U.S. hybrid to help you with um, fuel cell extenders, you know, if, you're, if your vehicle is particularly long range. So we're looking at all of that and we're grouping that under a business that we're, start, we're going to launch in Q4 called Turn On Installation Services. And so that that entire package where uh, is going to be where we put the battery charging, where we put the renewables wow. integration. And you're right, the batteries have to get better. And, you know, that part of, you know, power electronics, making all of that work, we think is really a strength of iDynamics. So, you know, making all of those systems work together synergistically is where we think we're going to really succeed. That's excellent. Yeah. And is there anything else that you think investors should know, keep an eye on? 
Well, I think what investors should understand is we have amazing companies. Like one I didn't talk about is Selectrack. It's an electric tractor company. We're really first movers in that in that area. And there is one place that you do not want diesel pollution is on the food that you eat. Absolutely. And so what's really important is we're electrifying the things that matter. And we're doing it across a broad range of companies that are operating and scaling and growing. And we're really excited about that. And I think if if, um, if investors understood that, they would see what an amazing company iDynamics is. That's great. So you say you would say that's what kind of sets you apart from the competition. It absolutely does. Because I, I don't think anybody has taken such a broad look at what the market really needs and uh, developed a, a group of companies that will address that need. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming today. Again, Ideanomics, ticker symbol IDEX. Kristen, thank you for coming and sharing your story with us. It was, I had a great time. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Great.